What's up guys? This is a 2022 Civic SI and today I'm going to demonstrate on how to get rid of the active sound control, I believe. Pretty much the fake engine noises when you put it in sport mode. Alright, so first thing you want to do is take this guy off. I like to use a little microfiber towel around it so we don't scratch anything. And you're just going to lightly pull all the way around. I like to go from top to bottom because there are clips on the top and bottom. I'm going to take this guy all the way out. And once you get to the common controls, there are three harnesses that you will need to remove. Which is the hazard, the push button start, and the common controls. You got this guy out the way. You definitely want to sit that somewhere, it won't get stepped on or scratched. I'm going to let this down. There are four screws, two here and two here. But first to get to the bottom, you'll want to take this all the way out. Pretty simple. Sit that out of the way. Next we're going to get those four Phillips head screws out. And you can use a drill, impact, whatever you like. Personally, I like to use these handheld. Put those somewhere you won't lose them. You got two more screws down here. Once you get those four screws out. This end cap will have to come off. Once that's off, you should be able to pull down like so. And that little box right there is what you're going to be looking for. Just to kind of give you a, a visual. And what may be the easiest to do is go ahead and unhook this harness. So you can have a little bit more room. I've actually already unhooked mine. But it's right on the back of this. Reach around. Push that little tab down, pull that guy out, and no more fake engine sounds. If you would like to stick around for the reassembly, cool. If not, if there are any other things you would like to know how it comes apart, let me know in the comments below. When you put this back on, you definitely want to make sure you give it a good push all the way around. Try not to push on the vents, but sometimes you may have to give it a little bit of convincing. I like to do it like this because you can tell it's evenly getting pushed all the way around. Like I said, try not to push on those vents because they seem a little brittle. But once you get that installed, rub your fingers all the way around, make sure everything's back flush, and you're good to go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you would like to see more. If you have any other questions about how to dismantle or reassemble anything, let me know in the comments below. Y'all have a great day.